Hello and thank you for joining me tonight. Um, this video I wanted to go over a little bit about pendulums and how to use one. Um, not only can you use like a typical pendulum like this, which is it's just a weight on some type of string um, or cord or chain or whatever, um, but you can also use a body pendulum, which I'm going to explain a little bit more too. The premise of pendulum work in general is your body is more connected to your subconscious. It doesn't have the focus of your, your conscious mind. And it knows things. It just knows. It can answer yes or no. Your body can answer yes or no. It knows the truth. Okay, let's just consider that for a second. Using a pendulum, whichever way it is, is a way of observing these very subtle um, expressions that indicate yes or no. So you may have been to a chiropractor before or something, some type of doctor who asked you to put your arm out and they would ask questions and do like a, a push down on your arm and that's a type of dowsing as well. Um, that's when you would typically need someone to push your arm down for you so you can't really do it by yourself. But the premise there is that um, they ask a question and if the answer is no, there will be a lot of resistance in your arm. Your body will just give up <laughs> almost or just like will let the push happen. Whereas if the response would be a yes, it would be um, more difficult to push the, there would be resistance. <clears throat> so another form of doing that is dousing with your fingers. You can link your fingers together like this and ask a question. So I like to test it with something that I know the answer to. Um, so is today July um, 26? And you get like some resistance. Is today September 1st? And it, it breaks very easily. Now surely you could break them apart regardless, like if you pulled hard enough. But you're trying to just like tap into the subtleness of these, these answers. So you don't want to like bust your fingers apart too quickly. You can do that standing up where you, you stand, kind of wide stance with your arms by your side. And just find that kind of place where you're, you could fall forward or backward. You're kind of like hovering right in the middle and ask a question. and. A forward lean when you're, you just feel pulled forward that would be yes and when you feel pulled backward that would indicate a no so for pendulum though it's a little bit different you want to work with your pendulum if you get one you want to keep it in your pocket for a day or something um, try to develop like a relationship with it in a sense because they do vibe with you if you don't have an actual like store-bought pendulum you can make them um, you could use a necklace, like something that just basically needs a weight and like a cord or rope or string. You can use a ring and some string or something. So it's really easy to make this. Like you can use like dental floss and really anything. Um, I would say that pendulum questions, you can't ask it something that you have an attachment to. Um, does someone so like me? <laughs> um, am I going to get this job? Um, will I fall in love this year? Am I going to win the lottery? Like, those are the type of questions that um, you just can't ask it. It's not doesn't really work that way because you have you you have a desire for that. So sometimes our desire, since it is our conscious our body, um, which is giving us these answers, sometimes that desire will kind of override it. So you don't want to do anything like that. Um, a good question would be, you know, what stone should I use today? Um, will this benefit me? Does this serve me? And it could be without stones. It could be um, herbs that you want to take. It could be, you know, what you want to wear that day, what you should make for dinner. Like, just like anything that's like a basic question. Sometimes I do it when my son is sick or when I'm sick in particularly, like, like a cold, I don't mean like terribly ill, but you know, how many Advil should I take? Should I take two or will one be enough? You know, like something like that, something that's a practical question. Um, you can use it to check your chakras. You can use it for um, determining what stone you might want to use during meditation or bring with you during that day, how to pick your secret adornments for the day, what would be the most beneficial to you to have with you for the day and things like that. So for using your pendulum, 
I like to hold it kind of like near my solar plexus, but for the purpose, you don't have to do that and it still works without that. That's just kind of my go-to position. But um, for the purpose of this video, I'll put it over here. What you would do is hold, kind of hold it between your thumb and forefinger or whatever, but just kind of like a pinchy position. And I always close my eyes because I don't want to be, I don't want my gaze to have an effect. So I'll first ask a question like, <clears throat> Please show me a yes. Please show me a yes. And my yes is like, um, I'm very familiar with my yes. It's a big, um, or it doesn't have to be big, but it's a clockwise um, circle. It spins clockwise or swings clockwise. And then I will say something like, thank you, please stop. And then I'll say, please show me a no. Please show me a no. And my no is just this like back and forth kind of swing. That's a great way to start using your pendulum to start seeing like what is real. Your yes might be back and forth. Like my teacher's yes is like a big back and forth like this. Um, you know, your no might be just like, you know, it could be anything. It could be different types of patterns and stuff. So. Um, what might work for you or what your response is might not be the same as anybody else's and it can change my no used to be a counterclockwise and recently in the past month or so it started to become the the back and forth so now I'm, you know we're communicating that way <laughs> so a good example like I have a few stones here here's like a black tourmaline sphere here is an ametrine um, obsolete and a black moonstone kind of shape. So let's say you have whatever, they could be any kinds of stone, pocket stones or anything. But um, for choosing a stone, maybe for meditation or to wear something, like something you want to have with you through the day, I typically would hold it over the stone. You don't have to do this either. It's all very personal. And again, I'll close my eyes and ask, would this ametrine be beneficial for me to meditate with later tonight when I'm doing my meditations? And I'm getting a yes. So that's, that's just like a little simple way of how you get to ask questions. Surely you can think of probably a hundred ways to ask questions with and it's really fun. Um, it's fun to kind of play games when you're getting used to it. Um, I will say that there's a time where your pendulum will just stop, like it's like, okay, I'm done for the day, you know, like this is getting silly, <laughs> I'm not a toy or something, so it'll just kind of stop swinging or it'll only swing back and forth or only keep giving you no's, just being like, it kind of like checks out, I've, I've found that, that might not happen to you, but I've found that, and when that's the case, I just think it and put it away and maybe smudge it or do some Reiki on it or something like that. So here we'll ask the black tourmaline. Would this black tourmaline sphere be beneficial for me to use tonight when I'm doing my nightly meditations? And it's giving me a no. So I, I know that, you know, maybe I don't need that one. <laughs> and then I have this um, black moonstone piece. Would this black moonstone be beneficial for me to use this evening when I'm doing my meditations. And it's a yes. Sometimes they start off as a swing, so it's it's good to um, give it a like, give it a little time to give its answer because it kind of has to get rolling. Um, but yeah, so that's how you use pendulums. It's really simple. Um, I think that at first I've seen a lot of people because um, I've taken a few like crystal classes. And I've seen a lot of people get frustrated or be like, mine's not working, mine doesn't like me, you know. And <clears throat> if that happens to you, if you feel like you're just not connecting with it, I would try to keep keep it near you, like treat it, treat it well. Um, develop kind of a relationship with it, like I said. I know that sounds really silly, but just like having it be something like a tool of yours, you know, and like show it that you respect it, if that makes sense. Um, and don't like be so quick to expect like an answer because sometimes it needs to warm up to you or your body needs to get used to this like trust of the subconscious for this like communication. It's a really beneficial tool also for building trust within yourself. Like you might be, you might have this intuition like, you know, this is the one. I'm going to use this one tonight for sure. But I don't know, something's telling me, you know, maybe the moonstone. 
and you know you can double check with your pendulum or dowsing or body pendulum or however you like to do it and it, it will like help you build that confidence in your intuition help you to just I don't know just feel more connected to your higher self to um, this knowing that you have um, this resource you're able to tap into whenever and I know this is silly but not silly, but it seems so, like, oh, pick out your crystal, or oh, figure out if you're, you know, you need more than one Advil, <laughs> but they're very practical things, and sometimes little, um, little yes or no things that we're kind of, like, debating or going back on in our head, like, take up our time, you know, and they're, it's not fun, like, even a little, um, indecisiveness can be kind of, um, yeah, it's just not the best feeling, you know, so when you're able to grow your yes i'm sure yep i'm just guided i'm just guided that way and you start working with the pendulum to build that up it can be really beneficial i find it that way uh, i think a lot of people are put off by pendulums because they do have like a witchy vibe if you're not into that um or you know just kind of like mystical <laughs> even if you're not really into that or if you're you know weren't brought up with that type of um if you just weren't brought up with that in your environment or you've brought up to believe that that's kind of like you know wrong for whatever reason it's just it's just an extension of your body it's just your body you know telling trying to communicate with you so if you ever see a pendulum and like now you know what they're for <laughs> um they don't tell the future they don't like do anything like spooky they're just like a tool for tapping into your um your subconscious you're with connecting with your higher self and being guided so i hope that you found that beneficial um please let me know if you like these little videos with like little just tidbits in them um if you'd like to connect with me on social media you can find me on snapchat instagram facebook um or my website where you'll be able to see like the services i offer and stuff like that um i'm a master teacher a reiki practitioner i work out of the NYC area. I teach Reiki in Staten Island. I have client. I see clients for like um, in-person Reiki sessions in Manhattan and Brooklyn. So if you're interested, you know you can reach out to me and we can set something up. Um, but you know, for everyone who's been watching my videos and seeing my journey, like thank you so much. I can't begin to express my gratitude for the love and support that I feel from you guys. Um, all your likes and shares and subscrib subscriptions and things like really do help me reach more people and I'm so blessed to connect with all of you. I'm, I'm just honored constantly. I get like the sweetest messages and feel very loved. I feel very treasured and I treasure you. <laughs> so anyway, as always, you know, thank you and namaste.